Scientist Anthony Samsel on glyphosate, January 3, 2016. There are no safe levels of glyphosate. There is no dose-response relationship with this chemical as it randomly wreaks havoc in biology. It is a synthetic amino acid analog of glycine that is somewhat resistant to proteolysis, as very little is metabolized. Some glyphosate reacts to form other synthetic amino acid analogs, glycine, and that which does get metabolized is also destructive. Some of these glycine analogs get incorporated into the tissue, which causes self-destruction or apoptosis of the cell in supporting glycine-based structure. The methylphosphonyl group triggers apoptosis why it takes such a long time to see the damage. It is happening at the molecular level, and each and every molecule incorporated. As you destroy the tissues of the glands and organs, their function is affected, and impede is leading to cascades of diseases. One example of COPD, which suddenly shows up and goes from bad to worse in the course of a short time, you reach the tipping point. Glyphosate was found to metabolize in the lungs of animals tested with radio-labeled carbon-14 glyphosate. Uh, it metabolized to radioactive carbon dioxide. That's how they found it during the study. Glyphosate and glufosinate are both synthetic amino acid analogs of glycine. Plus, there are several more amino acid analogs of gly glyphosate which are created in vivo uh, or within the body or uh, of the animal or and or plant. The entire U.S. food supply is contaminated probably better than 90 percent uh, with glyphosate. Even fresh vegetables grown on fields sprayed with glyphosate as a pre-emergent herbicide before planting. All of those fruits and vegetables are contaminated with residues of glyphosate. Wheat, cereal grains are also contaminated. Over 160 food groups are counting. Um, uh, also, milk, cheese, cream, beef, pork, poultry, and eggs are also contaminated. And the animals are being fed uh, a glyphosate-contaminated forage pass it through the food chain. In the USA, if it's not organic, you are almost assured of getting your dose of glyphosate at every meal. Then there are those in the supply chain, which include farmers and brokers, uh, who are uh, dishonest and sell tainted crops into the organic system. That is, that's a problem, uh, and it needs to be corrected. Those guys need to be prosecuted uh, for uh, uh, selling uh, these contaminated uh, products into a, a, what should be a clean system. Um, so these are some of the things that uh, that are caused by glycine uh, being disrupted by uh, glyphosate acting as a synthetic uh, amino acid analog of the uh, amino acid glycine. Uh, the disruption of glycine affects every gland, organ, and tissue, and it predisposes life to mitochondrial dysfunction and disease. Combine this with the disruption of our commensal friends, the bacteria, that participate in symbiosis on and within, and these glycine amino acid analogs truly are capable of randomly wreaking havoc in our biology. Uh, the Monsanto and DuPont carbon-14 radio-label studies are a key, and show beyond a shadow of a doubt that these glycine analogs incorporate in, into every gland, organ, and tissue at the molecular level. Monsanto pathologists remarked that the tissue destruction of the basement membranes of glands and organs, which are rich in glycine. I wonder they found the glands and organs so effective. And if you refer to our last paper, glyphosate 4, uh, you can uh, see uh, the distribution and bioaccumulation of uh, radio-labeled carbon-14 uh, in the blood, blood cells, bone, the bone marrow, thyroid glands, the testes and ovaries, the brain, the eye, the heart, kidney, liver, lungs, spleen, the uterus, the stomach, the small intestine, and colon. 
the abdominal fat, uh, testicular and ovarian fat, abdominal muscle, shoulder muscle, nasal mucosa, residual carcass. Uh, they even found that glyphosate caused cataracts. So um, this is a, it's all a function of uh, glyphosate uh, uh, being an, an amino acid and being where it shouldn't be. And that's why we need to, uh, uh, to get rid of this herbicide. Uh, these glycine analogs, which there are uh, several, It'll all be described in the new paper that Stephanie and I are in the process of writing.